the way medicines were developed was quite non-transparent. The pharmaceutical industry, together with the regulatory authorities and the medical community that are involved in developing medicines, I think we've all realized that we have to open this up. People are ready and mature enough to hear much more about what's going on. You know, and people are ready to challenge both the industry and what we're doing and challenge the regulatory authorities. And they want to understand why certain things are approved or taken off the market, you know, what's really going on. So, so there, is, there is a big program underway since at least 10 years here in Europe where the regulatory authorities are much more open. You can find a lot of information on the websites of the agencies these days. 10 years ago, there was nothing. The same thing with our companies. We started about 10 years ago to disclose when we start a clinical trial. So within three weeks, our companies are obliged to post on the web that we start a trial and there's some headlines of what that trial is about. Then once the study is finished, we have to make the results available within one year, either as a publication somewhere or somewhere else. And this holds for both positive and negative results. So that means that if the drug is working or it didn't work. Of course, we've always had to give all the data to the regulatory authorities. Now this is a question about giving it to more people. But provided we take care of the data privacy of patients and the commercial confidentiality of certain documents, we're absolutely willing to be more transparent and we are looking forward to working with all our stakeholders in making this happen.